Set up a, a final hurdle in this quest. Under the bill, the team's future will be guaranteed for three decades, and the Vikings will pay 49% of construction costs. Uh, for the latest on this, uh, let's bring in ESPN insider John Clayton. John, does this mean there's no chance now that this Minnesota Vikings franchise will be moving to California? They are staying put for good? Yeah, everything seems to be. You can put it at 99% level, just in case something doesn't go right in the next 24 hours. But this is all fast-tracked now to go to the governor, become approved, and then get everything going as far as getting the new stadium. And really what it came down to was the tough part of going through the legislature. The House was going to be the trickiest. They came out, they attached $105 million on top of the original cost of 427. That was going to be too much. The Senate came back, off. cut that down to 25. And then when they had the committee, they were able to oh. work with uh, the Vikings and come up with 50 additional million dollars to take it to 470 million dollars. This thing looks like it's going to be a done deal, and the Vikings will say good news for the Vikings and also good news for the National Football League. All right, let's talk about the Cowboys and the Redskins, John. They had their hearings Thursday to try to challenge the NFL rule that reduced their money against the salary cap by some $36 million.